On October 23, 2015, in Dallas, Texas, Altura Construction Company was performing a renovation of the old Butler Brothers building, originally completed in 1911. They had cut all the service lines to the building and removed all the courtyard concrete. That Friday, torrential rains ensued and flooded the entire courtyard area with over 30 inches of water. Unfortunately, there were heating oil tanks below the surface and they had never had the oil removed. The heavy rain caused tons of oil to rise to the surface and spread out over the entire courtyard area. The following video shows the extent of the spill, as well as the remedial action plan developed and implemented by the OSEI Corporation for Altura Construction. It was estimated that over 68,000 gallons of oil had leaked out, contaminating approximately 100,000 cubic yards of soil. OSEI Vice Presidents Robert and Griffin Pettigo viewed the drums, which were loaded from the OSEI Corporation warehouse and sent to the Dallas site on Evergreen Street. The drums were offloaded and inspected by Griffin Pettigo and OSEI associate Noah Omar. The drums were taken up into the building's parking lot, where they were staged next to the power washer that will be used to apply the OSE2 and water mixture of 2%, or 50 to 1 ratio. A drum wrench was used to open the drums, while an electric drum pump was placed into the drums to decant the OSE2 into the 500-gallon water tank. The OSEI CEO, Mr. Stephen Pettigo, arrived at the site, where he met with construction officials as well as TCEQ and the City of Dallas officials to go over the remedial action plan. Everyone agreed to the plan after seeing a simple demonstration of OSE2 onto a small area of oil and rainwater. As you can see, OSE2 quickly breaks down the oil. City of Dallas officials and the TCEQ were concerned that oil from the courtyard was leaching into the storm drains. Absorbent booms were placed into the storm drains and OSE2 applied to break down the sheen in the storm drain. The drains were monitored and since no more sheen could be seen over time, it was determined that the sheen did not originate from the construction site courtyard spill. The most pressing problem was the smell. The oil's odor could be noticed for a two-mile radius from the building throughout downtown Dallas. Once the water tank was mixed with OSE2 and water, the application of OSE2 started in the deepest end of the courtyard. OSEI officials knew it would take some time to apply enough OSE2 in order to approach the one-to-one -one application rate of the OSE2 and water mixture to the large amount of oil present. If there is a lot of foaming, you can merely move it out of the way. It does not pose any real problem. A high-pressure sprayer was used to inject oxygen while applying and mixing OSE2 into the soil. Had there been time, we would have added perforated piping to inject oxygen into the soil, oil, and water. One can see, as more and more OSE2 is applied over time, the oil has started breaking down and lifting off the surrounding soil, leaving large pockets of water surface without oil. The OSE2 and water mixture was applied in sections to the oil, breaking the spill up into three different sections. Griffin and Robert Pettigo applied OSE2, initially testing the deeper oil. Spencer Smith, Executive Management Sales, another OSEI associate, took over application duty, while Noah Omar manned the electric drum pump, making sure the water tank was full of water and OSE2. At the end of the day, Robert Pettigo surveyed the area where OSE2 had been applied. The smell had reduced dramatically, and the oil had broken down, losing its adhesion properties. Day 2. You can see the greater difference between the first day, Saturday the 24th of October, and Sunday. Application of OSE2 resumed, and it was determined that seven more drums of OSE2 would be needed as well. Spencer Smith and Noah Omar continued with the application of OSE2, while Griffin and Robert Pettigo oversaw the drum pump and the water tank. The pockets of oil, and especially the deepest part of the spill, received additional OSE2 and water mixture. Day 3. Once again, you can see even more dramatic improvement of the site. More drums of OSE2 were delivered and brought up to the staging area. The oil was becoming as thin as water, and you could see bacteria growing on the surface of the oil. The oil also started turning a lighter green color, no longer appearing to be black in sections. The City of Dallas officials and the TCEQ were quite amazed at how the oil was being degraded and were very pleased that the smell had reduced to just the area in the courtyard. Day 4. Even more improvement of the site. 
and it was decided that we would reduce the manpower by two, leaving Spencer and Noah to man the drum pump, water tank, and the application of OSE2. OSE2 was once again spread evenly throughout the courtyard area, since more and more access to pockets of oil under piping and machines became more available. The machines were cleaned with the OSE2 and water as well. The basement and building had oil and water flooded into it, and the oil smell was still quite strong. It was determined the power washer and OSE2 would be moved to the other side of the building so the hose could be sent down to the basement and OSE2 applied. It was very dark. However, Spencer and Noah were able to get OSE2 applied to the basement area, which remediated the oil and eliminated the final smell from the oil spill. During day four, a plume of hydrocarbons was noticed in a waterway approximately one mile away. Spencer Smith, with the City of Dallas and TCEQ officials, went to the site to ascertain if the oil was coming from the construction site. Spencer Smith took a sample of what the oil in the courtyard looked like. The oil in the waterway could not be determined that it was coming from the construction spill area. Day five. The site is basically clean and free of hydrocarbons, with some touch being carried out with the water. The difference between day one and day five is dramatic. Spencer Smith is our environmental warrior. Altera Construction, with the Texas TCEQ, extracted samples of OSE2 from the soil and found no detectable hydrocarbons 21 days after the start of the application of OSE2. OSE is safe for humans, non-toxic to marine life, and permanently removes oil spills from the environment. You can see in the video OSE2 breaking down the molecular structure of the oil, lifting the oil off the soil, and finally, the presence of indigenous bacteria growing, converting the oil to CO2 and water. This oil was older and had been left in the tanks since the 1930s. It was very easy and quick to remediate. The construction company was very happy since the cleanup and especially the smell was reduced quickly. The TCEQ and Dallas City officials stated they were very pleased, and the City of Dallas official immediately requested OSE2 for another site nearby. This site cleanup was closed with a no further action required notice from the state of Texas. OSE2 emulates Mother Nature's own process, except it speeds it up to remediate oil in a few days or weeks compared to waiting decades on Mother Nature. This was the approximate 33,000 987th spill OSE2 has been used on since 1989. OSE2, protecting those who cannot protect themselves.